Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Beastly Eel, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the season finale of My Adventures with Superman. So the name of this episode was My Adventures with Supergirl. So this takes place legitimately right after, uh, right where the last episode left off, with both Superman and um, Supergirl being blasted out of the sky by Brainiac. The world now is feeling like they're going to lose everything. However, <clears throat> during all of this, including... Um, so the people who think that it is all done and over with are Amanda Waller, uh, Superman and Supergirl, and Lois and Jimmy. Mostly due to the fact that they feel like that the because those two lost and can't get close to Brainiac, that it's all done and over with. However, <clears throat> we see a lot of other people come out to help out. So we see... Um, Livewire and her crew, which includes Heatwave, Banshee, I think is how you pronounce the name, um, and a few others that I can't remember. All of them came back along with Steel. Um, Steel's got a suit back, and he is destroying as many of the Kryptonian um, robots as they can. So the rest of the group fly up to try to stop Brainiac's ship. When they start climbing up, the Kryptonian... Um, the Kryptonian like a uh, kryptonite in uh, powered robots sorry are doing a number on heat waves um, equipment along with live wires as well so they were told to back off because of that they then start destroying the rest of the kryptonite powered suits and Superman and Supergirl both lift off the ship as much as they can to try to stop it from happening. However, when they get to the to where Brainiac is, <clears throat> Supergirl is then brainwashed by Brainiac again and goes basically supernova and starts beating Clark to a pulp. Um, she begins to beat him up with ease. He's also holding back because he doesn't want to hurt her. And it gets to the point where he starts to see Clark, meaning starts to see that she's trying to fight as much as she can. And that's when Clark, Lois, and Jimmy all hug her to try to break her free of that feeling. So they're able to do so. Um, that's when both her and Clark both lift up the ship to get it out of space, out of the Earth's atmosphere. And they go into the to try to destroy Brainiac. However, Brainiac um, turns his whole ship into kryptonite and begins to blast the two of them, shoots Kara right into the sun. <clears throat> Clark goes in this together. They then begin to heal, um, and the kryptonite does not seem to affect them because they're absorbing so much solar radiation. In this, um, Clark is kind of surprised at what's going on, and that's when... Kara basically goes, we are Kryptonians, we are children of the sun, we get our power, we are solar powered. And so the two of them um, destroy Brainiac's ship, break it in half, um, and that's when Kara and Brainiac go for a fight together. Um, Brainiac turns into a complete Kryptonite-infused robot. Um, the two of them go after each other, he cuts her on the face, she smashes him to bits um, in half, and is holding his battery pack in her hands. Um, during that, she passes out, and she wakes up in the Clark, uh, the Kent's farmhouse. She wakes up, realizing where she is. Clark comes back, explains what happened. That you know they defeated Brainiac, or she defeated Brainiac, and that they were going to work together. We also have it where she turned her suit into Supergirl, uh, a Superman-esque suit. Um, or in this case, Supergirl. Um, she then works with Clark to play catch because it's a Kent family tradition. Um, and then they have a large cookout together and everything else. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention too was during all that, uh, during all the people like showing up, um, General Lang, uh, General Lane shows up as well. I just wanted to mention that because that's a big piece in that too. Uh, not super big in the sense of like, oh, it's the um, end of the world, but he showed up 
shot a couple of robots with Amanda Waller. <clears throat> so anyway, they um, they then have a family cookout with everyone there, except for obviously the very few people, which are just Lex Luthor, Wade Wilson, and Amanda Waller were the only three that didn't show up, for obvious reasons. But General Lane showed up, which I was very surprised about. Um, Livewire and her crew were there, and they were all eating up with the Kents. And it was nice to see all that together, and then it ends with both Superman and Supergirl um, going to stop uh, a fire, and both Jimmy and Lois going with them because they're journalists and wanted to see what was going on. So with this episode, um, we definitely get the point across that Brainiac was the... He was the one that caused the destruction of the Kryptonian Empire due to the fact that they wanted to have peace and he was created for war and he thought that'd be stupid to have peace. So he destroyed Krypton. Um, Brainiac, I also believe, is not dead. Mostly, or at least not completely dead. His battery pack still exists, which means he can hack into other things eventually and be able to be brought back. However, I don't think he's going to ever be a main villain again. I think he'll be like a, a two-part episode, three-part episode. He won't be anything like a season-long uh, villain again because of what has happened um, in this episode. I also believe that we're going to be getting um, Lex Luthor and Wade Wilson um, are going to be working really hard on trying to stop the Kryptonians. We're going to be seeing some major effects here, and I feel like we're going to have Earth based villains in the next season just for the fact where it's going to be Lex Luthor who's going to be the main villain I I feel because we now have two Kryptonians they're going to have to crank up their skill set I guess the best way to phrase it because um, <clears throat> I don't think they're going to be introducing Darkseid this early we also have um, Lois and Jimmy both um, dating crypto, crypto, uh, Kryptonians which I find interesting so it's going to be a, a fun dynamic of double dating in the next season. I'm very curious to see where the next season is going to go. When I first saw season one, I wasn't expecting much from the show. Season one was good. Season two was incredible, I felt. And I hope they continue.